Sarantu, you will understand. Stories run in your blood, as they do in mine. I'm not much of a storyteller, to be honest. I do like a good story, though. I will tell you a tale of a poor Navi, who only sought to bring light into a dark world. I built a stage for my clan, and told stories with my puppets. People flocked to my shows. They laughed, they cried. But then, the great silence, the shame. We stepped back into the fog and let it close around us. I had no heart to tell any tale but tragedies. And we had tragedy enough. No more did they come for my stories. The stage fell to ruin and rot. The puppets I gave away to the children where they might still raise a faint smile. They have long since been cast away. We all need stories. Who would tell them now if not you? That is the question I keep asking myself. The stage I can rebuild, but the puppets cannot be replaced. Once beloved, they have been scattered as those children grew and forgot their dreams. We were not allowed many toys or dreams growing up. I'd be glad to help find your puppets. Thank you. I would search for them myself. But I am not so young anymore. None of us are. You are back. I worried for you all. Enough ingredients for the an epe. No kudu. Should take a closer look. Focus.
I think that's the last puppet. Namtet will be pleased. Kalu and Duntu were agitating each other again last night. Was there a time before the Hollows when we welcomed all to our fireside? I found the puppets, all of them. My friend, <laughs> from one storyteller to another, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Every time I happen to tell a story about the Sarantu, I will remember you with a kind smile. Please take this, and my gratitude. We if we have to, we will do it again. 